Sway, Sway. Shout out to my boy Trish is new. Trish is new. Penny, Penny. Motherfucking, motherfucking righteous. righteous. the fucking business it's your boy kenny motherfucking roger mister it's another one what's going on my girl simply samantha in the building what's up how you doing surprise <laughs> you thought i wasn't gonna come on like shit let me get in the house man but i sure was trying to catch that damn fire that was going on motherfucking That's house fine. Yeah, yeah, see, I knew that would have been entertaining to motherfuckers. Mm. The whole shit finna burn down, shit. Well, it was on fire, shit. So, I ain't get a chance. It's dark, though, so I couldn't really check it out how I wanted to. So, I'm like, damn, they wouldn't let us get too close, but I'm like, shit. 
you know, it was just a little last minute thing, but it ain't matter though. You know, to me, I just knew it would have been a little bit entertaining, but hopefully that played two times for motherfucker. It, it hit diff. Remember that? God damn. He say it's, it's another one. You right about that shit. It's, uh, I appreciate y'all, man. I'm just trying to show people my talent, man. Thanks to my girl, Simply Samantha. Shit, she she hooking your boy up. She getting the fans some. So, you know. But yeah, shit, I'm like, shit, like, go on ahead and let, let me get on here and cook some shit, man. Do some shit. See what's going on with the people, man. See who's going to come in the building. You know, because we always got them them late bloomers. You know, T and all them motherfuckers come in here late. Yeah. <laughs> late bloomers. <laughs> yeah, the late bloomers. Yeah. Just pop up, pop goes the weasel, got that. Like, all right, shit, but I got some. Just waking up when he come on here. I know. I say, shit, yeah. that time zone shit, something else. Shit. Motherfucker, London, pop up, shit, they just waking up, motherfucker. We go to bed, sleep at 11, something, shit. It's the weekend. Yeah. Shit, motherfuckers out a little bit. Real talk. But how your day been? It's been okay. I've been busy, but I ain't complaining. It's been all right. Oh, that's good. How's that's yours good. been? Same thing, shit. Ripping and running, shit. But it was a good day, though. Nice little um, weather today, shit. Yeah, it was. It's going to be even nicer than my 83, shit. I know. I say, whoa, nah. Get my Here son on. Man, because it's, it's vicious. Say time don't wait for no man. She need to do the motherfucking weather. But I bet you, I bet you it's gonna come. It's gonna look like winter next week. I hope not. Oh my god! No. Hmm. I rebuke it. This motherfucking weather crazy. It's crazy though. You call this motherfucking weather schizophrenic, got that. <laughs> Bipolar, one of them motherfuckers. You don't know what the it's fuck you want to be. Real. Cold, hot, warm, in the midst something. I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. You never know what the fuck. That's why like, man. getting sick. Yeah, I was sure finna say that. It's that flu weather. Hope y'all got y'all shots, but I know some people don't believe in it. It's because they think the government trying to get them. Hey, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they not trying to get you. They trying to say shit. I can say that. Except for that cold, cold, that 19 shit got right that. Oh, no, no. Oh, but they, they still giving it to you. They, they, hey, y'all don't know, but they giving it to y'all and y'all food and shit. So, Mm-mm. no matter what you do, they sneaking into your ass like a baby. Damn, like shit, hey. Sneak this shit in their food, they gonna still get this motherfucker shot. Whether they like it or not. That's how this shit go. Ain't nothing nobody can do about that shit though, but <clears throat> it's the time of that. It's the times we living in. Shit, they get them by any means. Who y'all gonna complain to? The government? Hell <laughs> 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 yeah, nah. yeah, Look at y'all. Like, okay, we gonna take y'all. We gonna take all what you say into consideration. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. God damn, close the door on your close the door on your way out of this motherfucker. Real talk, real good no fuck. I showed like shit for all this all this shit was happening. I just looked at it. Shit, all the damn events that was happening today. I say shit's too much. What well, I say is the news will never stop, man. No, nah, it ain't gonna never ever. Never. Never. I'm just hoping a lot of people can find their way, but this shit vicious out here, boy. Oh man, the street don't love nobody. You gotta be careful, shit. That's why you always say, shit. Get you a family, goddamn it, stay put up. <laughs> Sometimes having a family and save your life, shit. I know more about that. Just having a girl, period, shit. And save your life, shit. Your girl don't be nagging at you all the time. She be trying to save you. Just take that into consideration, guys. You gotta pick and choose your battles. 
Sometimes you shouldn't be hanging with them retarded motherfuckers. It might save your life one day. She say stay home. Hey, it might be for a reason. You know, they feel a certain type of shit. So, you know, pay attention. But today, shit in Chicago got that man, this motherfucker. Yippee Kayo Kaye and that bitch, boy. Jesus. Yeah, I'm saying some of that, though. Man. Jesus. Damn. These motherfuckers, boy, it's, it's a lot of chaos. This is, yeah, I mean, it's something big finna happen sometime, some, sometime at, down the line, because this is a lot of bullshit happening. Everybody getting shot, stabbed, man, shit, it's just chaos. This is chaos. The immigrants running crazy, wow. Man, New York got to deploy the motherfucking army and shit to, for the subways and all that other shit, you know, to, to keep people safe. And hey, Another war going on across seas. Now this time it's motherfucking what? Iran and Israel. So there's two... Two motherfuckers against Israel now. The United States got to still bag them against them. I say, man, because Israel was bogus though. They bombing motherfuckers, <laughs> grandkids and shit. It ain't funny, but these motherfuckers. Hey, if a bullet ain't got no name, what the fuck you think a missile got? <laughs> motherfuckers don't know nobody. That bitch just know he got it got fire under his ass and. Just go as far as you could. Them bitches blew up somebody, grandkids. They, 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 the kids to the grandkids. So they decided to try to retaliate and shit. But it's just too much going on. It really is. Overseas is on fire, man. So that's Assad, Hamas, Israel, Iran, shit, Russia, Ukraine. And United States is they I wish these motherfuckers mind they business. They don't need to stun no more. I know y'all everybody say we powerful, all that shit, but that shit, listen, you being stretched out now. They probably doing that shit on purpose. Cause it's it's gonna be hell in hot water if, if motherfucking China decide to do anything to what they wanna do. And that's why I say it's 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 dangerous right now. Cause I, I feel damn, it was just on the tip of my damn tongue. The damn um country that make all the damn computer chips and all the other shit that they want. And the United States allies to them too. I hope them motherfuckers got enough ships and bombs for it, cause this that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was they, just reading they, this article. Go ahead. What was you saying? It is gonna be yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I see it. I see it coming. Like I see all of that shit coming. Like they, they, they allies to too many motherfucking people that's weak. Like straight up. Like hey, listen, man. Hey, I don't know what to say. Like you can't sound like you being mean and all that other shit. But hey. Is it doggy dog world? Hey, the motherfuckers gotta learn how to do something on their own if y'all a hey, you what it is. Ukraine. Listen. Somebody gotta fall. Somebody gotta do something. Cause you can't deploy everybody everywhere. That's one, two, three, like four parts of the world and, and four different sets of wars. Like, come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. And God forbid if, if Russia feel like the United States did, did made some type of war sign to them like shit. Okay, shit, y'all were in the war now, shit. Fuck y'all started supplying them with shit and like helping them do shit and strategize like shit, y'all, y'all in this shit now. Yeah, that ain't gonna be good either. They playing with Ukraine ass. You know, it's like to to me, they put Russia plan with them because if they really wanted to, they has to be wiped off the face of the earth. Is after the United States is Russia, then China. They trying not to make it seem like motherfucker gonna finish just just annihilate their ass. <laughs> 
but they is slowly but surely have it, but they only stand in a chance because of the United States. But at the end of the day, they they want to support Israel. Israel, they battle with all type of motherfucking sheep farmers, motherfucking goat milkers, all type of shit, man. Like real talk. Now they ended up with a real motherfucking country that got real shit. You know, like because they bombed they fucking people, family and shit. Like y'all can't keep y'all mm-hmm. people people crazy. You doing bombs and shit like it, like this shit ain't nothing, y'all. Like that's why people didn't want them to have that type of shit. Like y'all niggas just throwing around bombs and blowing people up and all type of shit. But what was you reading though? Oh, um, it was a uh, it was an article. Let's see. Oh, they go T. What's going on, my boy? Hey, T. How you doing? He said, I was just listening to it. Hey, that's what's up, my boy. Share that mm-hmm. shit to people, man. Get that shit out there to people, man. That's one of the hardest. Hey, they say music did. I'm trying to bring that shit back. Yeah, it's all. I got heat. Oh, shit. And, I, you know, I help younger artists develop and, and develop them and shit. Yeah, it's all. And I ain't know what they say for them, P. Diddy. Take that, take that, take that. Yeah, so, so what you were saying though? Well, we were just talking about the um, shit that's going on around the country, and all these wars and shit. And Sam, you know, and Samantha was just kicking it off. So, what you were saying, Samantha? You left, Samantha. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Damn, what the fuck? What's going on, my boy? Malibu most one in the building. Got songs on him too, man. Good to talk. My boy from California. When I one line when I said I got songs with everybody everywhere. You keep it real, man. You already know it's real talk over here, my boy. Real talk. It's for the little interview with him and shit, but you know, I'm just waiting on him to get his get everything together. I'm still here waiting on you. But shout out to my boy, Michael Malibu, man, the crunk, straight up. Uh Samantha. Yeah. All right, go ahead and say what you're gonna say. Oh, you can hear me. I can hear you now. Okay, so okay, I shared it on my community. You went back out. You hear me? You there? Now can I, you hear me? yeah, I hear you now. Okay, I'll just go ahead and tell you about it. I was going to read the article, but anyway, I shared it on my community tab. Okay, so this woman, I don't know what the fuck was going on. I guess it's still ongoing, but anyway, it was, she was involved in a murder-suicide where she um, stabbed her husband or boyfriend. Oh, you talking about the, uh, the uh, what you call the shit that you went to, the astrologist. <laughs> oh yes, well it was. I didn't know anything about her, but she was an <laughs> astrology influencer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna find out about her. But anyway, because the bitch was fucking insane too. Insane but to anyway, the membrane. Uh, but anyway, oh my god, I gotta do something about all these notifications. Anyway, um, so she stabbed her husband, then she pushed her eight month old and eight or no eight month old and nine year old daughters out onto the freeway and the eight month old of course didn't survive but the nine year old was able to make it to the shoulder of the road and then after that she crashed her car um into I'm trying, that's why i was trying to keep the article for that Man, I I, I see this vehicle it. into a tree um in uh, Redondo Beach. Is Bay Area? 
No, he ain't in here yet. I was going to ask him if he had heard about it because that's in California. Mm. You hit it. You hit it on the head, though. But this is this is motherfucking psycho, but like oh, for my my like oh ass female right here. Whatever her strategy is in the air, and what she seen, hey, I don't want no power to that shit. That made me think about all that shit. First thing I heard about when I thought I'm thinking about you, like oh shit, she she believe in it, but she you don't believe in it like she believed in it. This motherfucker, I don't know what was going on. Like hashtag mental health, man, y'all like. We need to get yeah, this shit started. Mental health uh, issues. This motherfucker. Uh -uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. It's a bat, uh, the, hey, baddie for bat, bat, bat. She stabbed Buddy ass up, killed him, took the kids. It wasn't a high speed they chase. They was all he in just, the car together. Well, he they and found, found him at the house. The neighbor found him at the house. Whoever came in the house found him in the house. Oh with, yeah, in the apartment. You right, yeah. Woodland Hills apart uh, apartment. Yeah, so he seen the feet around the corner. So they found him. She took the kids, and but instead of just running all of them into the damn tree, she decided to push them out in the on a fresh boy. I said, "What type of shit, bitch? Why well, you just ain't run all y'all into the tree like that? Would have been like, okay, the, like okay, like damn, that was cruel. What you like, damn? You pushed the kids out on the express way. You killed one. The other one made it." So it was kind of a good thing you then just run, you know, run all y'all to the tree. I mean, yeah, I'll tell like. Yeah, now nah, she should have killed herself instead of everybody. Bro, damn. Like that. Like, why are you going to do that? Why are you going to. Nah. Just, kill yourself yeah, it, and let your family live because you the one with the problems. It's I like she made the notifications it. off. Yeah, that's band lap, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. That shit, that shit will turn you psycho. No, I'm you do. Them you off. can turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. That's, that's what I have to do sometimes. Shit, them my fight. Completely fuck that. And so as soon as I drop some there, everybody ding 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 they they stick to dropping their shit. Oh, but yeah, turn that shit off. But yeah. Turned it off. It, it, you know, it, I it, already it's, decided I was like, fuck this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't take I hate that shit. That's yeah, I, and that's amazing. why I didn't put you. And that's why they put you in all the groups because I already knew that's what they do. The motherfuckers just drop everything at once for no reason. Yeah, yeah. I finally finished one of my bangers though. I'm just letting it wreck up the place so I can see how everybody take it. But I said it to you. How you like that shit? Uh, I like talking about astrology, Titch. I love astrology. Uh, oh, I hey. love, yeah. It's an ancient. An ancient art and science. It worked, but I wish somebody would have read her shit and seen. <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't not nothing. No, nah, she needed some help. It, well, for it hashtag no help. mental health, man. Like, but yeah, to, to throw the kids out the car and all that other shit and run yourself into this type of shit, you know, talk about because she felt like at the end of the day, it was the end of the times and all this other shit. You know, I tell her like, come on, man, it's the end of your times. God damn it, you do that shit to you. God damn, bitch. If you felt that way, damn. These kids ain't even get to live. Like, they ain't feel like it was the end of time. Bitch, it's still some more time left. You crazy. What the fuck? Buddy ass, ain't nobody see this shit coming? Like, damn, motherfucker. Boy, what would you do? For love. So, old niggas. Yeah, but hey, you see somebody acting fucking strange and look hey, crazy, get the fuck away from them. I'm pretty sure this motherfucker was probably telling him that dumb ass shit. It's the end of time and something and woo woo woo. And man, listen, the moment she started speaking like that, it was over. And I ain't playing, nigga. It was over. It's all right. It is the end of time. We, me and the kids, finna get in this car and we'll be right back. Fuck you, talking about like that old commercial. We'll be right back. And we gone. Fuck you, talking about crazy bitch. The end hey, of your Tish, time. Have you ever um, read the Art of War? I don't know why I felt like I felt like he would be the type to have read that. <laughs> the Art of War. Have you, you read it you, before? And, and and like, Sun Tzu? No, I ain't, I ain't read it, but I, I pre what you what, like what that what is it about? Well, it's basically uh the like it's the art of war. It's like how. 
how the military, well, not like today's military, but like how the military forms their um, their strategies and stuff. But oh. but it actually pertains to a person's life too. So they saying like right. it could right it could be like yeah like could, sometimes people put things in the wrong order like people be the slave to their job or a slave to whatever it just it talks about how you put everything in the correct order in order to be um the best person you can to, be to be fulfilled and to be successful in your own right. Hey, that's how you gotta be. But it, it I, I was getting the gist to that shit because you know it's a lot of shit that I read that's kind of like that though, and I look at that kind of like the art of war, all that shit. And that's why I'm looking like okay, it do contain I a, to a lot the of audio things. version of it. It's really cool. The narrator is really good. He's got like that uh real like thick British accent, and it yeah, makes you what... feel like you like right in on the. Warfield with him in a way. <laughs> yeah, I, that, it, it really do matters. It do matters about the narrators and shit. I listen. I like to listen to narrators when I'm listening to certain things and shit. But you're right. The out of war is crazy shit. Well, it can't. You can't put it towards your life and shit like that. So a lot of people don't. You know, it's my everybody just wing it. But you're right. Shit, right now. <laughs> I do. I do. It sounded, it sounded, I don't know. It was just really neat because I would listen to it early in the morning. It ain't like a book that you binge read. I would like listen to a little bit at a time. It it just, I would listen to early in the morning when it'd be real peaceful and I would feel like I was right there with him. (laughs) Hey, I'm telling you, it's kind of like, I like the juror, what's his name? James Earl Jones type of shit. And just that stormy <laughs> ass type of narrating that shit. That shit crazy. But yeah, a lot of us always look at that I type like of James shit. Earl Jones. Yeah, I like the way he narrated a lot of things and shit. That shit do matter. Him and, and Morgan Freeman. Yeah, that shit you got it gotta catch you. You gotta capture you. Yeah. The out of war, yeah. If people put that shit to their life, they'd be better people shit, but people don't know nothing about that shit. Yeah, Jane, yeah. And I look at that type of shit all the time, like narrating them little motherfuckers, it's a little scary stories, and you know, just mm-hmm. any, anybody that had that, you know, to like that smoky, the bad voice got that motherfucker, oh, you know, and today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mm-hmm. And, said, and today, James went to Israel. You know, like I say, oh yeah, you know. So it didn't make it good. It make good for the movie. It make good, you know, for what oh, you paying yeah. attention to. So the art of war, I yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you I gotta, used to read a bunch when I was younger, but it seemed like once I get grown, I didn't ever have time to sit down and read no book. So then I started listening to audio books, and I was like, hell, this is even better. I can wash hey, dishes yeah. and cook, and that's I'm why it happened. Uh, it happened like that too, cause that's what. Hey, now you you can be hands free, or you got some headphones, had a phone in your pocket while you still doing what you're doing, shit, and just listen to whatever. But it do make it better. But yeah, this shit is crazy. It's the out of war happening right now, shit. <laughs> they need no. They ain't they ain't fucking with the art of war. They just free balling. No, nah, I'm talking about war, war. What's happening now? Right, that's what I'm talking about. They ain't got no type of strategy. They just tossing it up, fucking everybody over. Well, well, yeah, you're you right. Our own business. You right. It, it, that's why I say, like, a lot of people look at that shit like, oh, well, we was the weaker ones. We want somebody to help us, but we can't think like that because we not fuck shit. It's too much. Like. It's, it's it, it make it seem like some bigger finna go on or some shit. When China get their hands on, that's what it, Taiwan. That's what it is. When when China you try to get their hands on Taiwan, that's gonna be a fucking problem for everybody because they want Taiwan, and they probably 
like licking their chops. Like, yeah, y'all keep on interfering in all these motherfuckers' business while we creep over here and get these people shit. And they can't let them own this motherfucking computer shit. This shit gonna be crazy. If they own that, I mean, they can play all type of cyber games and all cyber wars and all that shit gonna go up and all type of shit. You know, them computer chips, that's everything. The phones, the computers, that's everything. That's like they make 90 per, 90% of everything, all the computer chips. And they want them. Because they feel like they part of they land and all this other shit. So while the United States dilly dallying and everybody up business, it's gonna be a problem in a minute, man. That's why. That's why. It's, and then you know, the home of the free, goddamn it, hey, hey, the immigrants and all this shit. Everybody come here. Everybody that they that's in war with with each other overseas, they come here. You got Iranians, you got all that shit here. You got all that shit here. You know, and then they be loyal to the soil to their shit. So ain't no telling them some type of man suicide, more bomb, all type of shit, man. It's gonna it's gonna get crazy. People better start watching out. It ain't just over here. It's going to be the big, you know, whoever the United States are allies with. Shit, which, which is, you know, teeing them over there in London, shit, you know, all this other shit, like Britain. Like, this shit going to get crazy. It is, man. I've been telling people shit. And now people want to go to war with each other and shit like that. that you going to war with them people's countries, and they here. Real talk, they here. What you, I mean, what you expect, you know? And then them people willing to, man, they, they, they Quran or they Bible, whoever they believe in, say something totally different. <laughs> you talk about it, wow, shit. They believe it, but a hundred and some virgins and all this other shit and dying is an honor and man, don't give a fuck. Real talk. If they feel slighted, then guess who's going to get it? That's because the United States want to play. This shit ain't no game. This shit's starting to get creepy as hell now. Because, like I said, even in Chicago with, you know, motherfuckers getting shot down and all that shit. You know, it's about like a six-year-old got shot two times. I think they said, well, a four-year-old got shot two times. A nine-year-old got shot in the head, lost her battle. She deceased. You know what I'm talking about? It's just too much death. There's a lot of death happening and a lot of corruption, a lot of just a lot of everything. The war ain't stopping. It just keep escalating. Everybody else keep getting into it. It keeps stretching. Oh, man. It's a big play coming. Yeah, madness. This is madness. It's a big play coming, y'all, man. It's, it's, it sounds scary because it is. It's a big play coming. It's something, it's something huge coming because it's just too much going on. It's just too much death. And with the cops shooting everybody and everybody else shooting every fucking body, and you got the wars overseas. Ain't no telling when it's going to hit here because they involving themselves in too much shit. And all in, like I said, all of them people that they in war with over there, they have family and all this other shit here. They got that shit here. They ain't gonna be able to stop every fucking attack. You know what I'm talking about? Like, man, that shit gonna be crazy. And them motherfucker people willing to do any and everything to get their point across. And, and like I said, they ain't they ain't the big dogs. That's why Diddy, I've been saying that. That's why I've been saying that. I ain't even gotta finish reading that motherfucking shit you just wrote. I've been said that shit. And people fail for that shit. Hook, line, sinker. That's, it's always a distraction. That, that Diddy is the distraction. He's a distraction. And people say, oh, he's guilty. Uh, man, shut the hell. Listen. 
this is the days of madness. It ain't nothing about no Diddy. They don't get no fuck about none of that shit. They just need you motherfuckers to be entertained by some shit that ain't never gonna happen. Why? All this other shit going on. You see, ain't nobody paying attention to that war shit. Ain't nobody really reporting about it. None of that shit. They stuck on celebrities and who played and who ass and balls and shit. That's what they, the sheep. Sheep. That's all people wear is the sheep. Real people that's woke. This channel was woke. This, I'm woke. And I try to wake everybody else up, but they refuse to do it. They just want to be sheep. Uh, we ain't talking about shit. Who fundled who balls and what what who took who man and all the other shit that it ain't entertaining. But the real shit is is that your life is more important than that type of shit. Your life is way more important than who played and who ass. When motherfuckers throwing bombs at each other and you got suicide bombers that's homegrown right here in the United States is just waiting. They waiting. It's something big finna happen. It was just school shooting the other day. School shoots, all type of shit. It's just a lot of things that's finna get ready to go on around here. But they need people to stay asleep. They need y'all to keep on figuring out who P. Diddy did something to and what uh, Sexy Red doing at a school and making a style and who man she gonna take next. You know, whoever she called her best friend. All that shit. Who who uh Drake and them dissing all that done here? They need that shit to be out there. They need people to blog about that type of shit so it can get y'all mind off of what's going on overseas, which is going to hit here. Is it's too much going on? I see it. It ain't just Ukraine and Russia no more. Now it's Iran and Israel and Israel and Hamas. And whoever else got that shit, it's crazy. These people is, they believe in suicide, you know, just doing shit for their country and shit, giving themselves up and believing if they doing this shit, okay, they going to go to heaven and have the verses and do all this other shit. But ain't nobody really telling people that this shit is, can hit the United States at any given time because they have people here. All these people that they going to war with live here in the United States. And this is the most dangerous times it's ever been in the United States. And then don't forget about China. That won't Taiwan. So if they doing all that over there, China got the, the green light to do whatever they need to do over there. Real talk. And don't let them get Taiwan because Taiwan got all the fucking computer chips. They make 90% of the shit. It's crazy. Real talk. So now they can hold everything hostage if they want to. China not playing with motherfuckers. They've been on Taiwan ass, but now the United States, they not minding their business. They, they want to keep on playing hero. Hey, they don't get what they want, but the citizens always pay. Look at what's going on over there. I don't hear about no no army person dying. I just hear about citizens getting blew the fuck up all every every rip. Every rip. Israel made a mistake. I don't even know if it was a mistake, but they sent bombs over there to Iran and blew up his damn fucking family. Fucking grandkids and his they sons and, and daughters and shit. Like, damn, they ain't hear nothing about a, a leader. Like, what the fuck? If a bullet ain't got no name, what the fuck you think a, a fucking bomb got? Yeah, like, man, that shit getting ridiculous. A bomb don't give a fuck. That bitch just gonna blow your motherfucking ass off. They don't care. But it's they hey, they just retaliated today. Send drones about five hundred missiles. Like then they did it was like, oh okay, we done. Okay, we got our lick back and all that shit, but Come on, man. That shit ain't gonna stop. Real talk. Everybody think it's, you know, everybody trying to be slick in what they doing and shit, but that's why the United States doing what they doing. They need the people to be entertained. P. Diddy was the scapegoat. So everybody can be entertained while they doing this dumb shit. Running shit. Running the, the underlay for the overlay. That's why it happens. That's why the black man getting skunt down by the police it happens with this political shit going on. All this shit happens. They need Biden to be, they need Biden to, 
No, I'm talking about like he the hero or some shit, so he can get another term. They don't, they don't want that man to get the part, the presidency back. They just don't want it to happen. It ain't for nobody good except for theirs, though. Real talk. That's what you're saying. Just do anything to spite this man because we don't want him to be the president no more. So fuck it. We finna run interference on everything. We finna just fuck people head up. But there ain't really too much they could do because they didn't already they didn't already run his course. Yeah. That's some real shit. I'm looking at that shit like every day we got another another water face or we got to do something different to make sure we we good and it just ain't happening in our favor that shit ain't gonna happen in our favor because they don't want it to they keeping us blind but those who see this shit like i do you, hey you gotta wake up because this shit will is it's already happening over here like all the them three kids just got shot the fuck up on the you know Southwest of Chicago, like, come on, man. People are dying at left and right. My brother's getting stabbed up in malls. Like, police shooting every fucking body. Just cause, like, that, this is the play. It happens every politically, you know, every political run. Like, and everybody don't be saying that shit because they don't, they so entertained by the madness. They entertained by all this bullshit that's going out here. They don't real. They don't see the real problem. The real problem is the, the United States is steady going to war, helping motherfuckers and doing this shit, and they're gonna bring that shit home because them people are they here already? They just waiting to get the, the green light to do some shit. Real talk. Nothing is impossible. Nothing because we the home of the immigrants. It ain't just Mexico. It's every motherfucking body. Everybody come here to live a, a good life and a decent life until you fuck with their country, then it's death to America. Fuck. Real talk, man. And then the chances that they, they take on their citizens and shit. <sighs> it's crazy, man. They, I see the play coming. Russia rubbing their hands like Birdman. Real talk. Not Russia. Yeah, Russia and China. But China is definitely rubbing their hands like Birdman. Real talk. Because y'all over there, y'all sure y'all gonna need every fucking thing in the kitchen sink for China. And they because they gonna run to Taiwan defense. They definitely gotta do that. They definitely gotta do that. Then what? <laughs> The citizens pay in every way, shape, form, or fashion. The citizens is going to pay. It's through taxes to, to keep funding them with their bombs and bullets and all this shit, or it's through bodies. I see this shit coming. Talk, I see it coming. And it's sad. If y'all go look at these major news outlets and shit that's, that's covering this type of shit, it's going to send chills up y'all motherfuckers behind. I'm looking at this shit all and more. Out. Iran is going to respond within 24 hours. and ooh, ooh, But they ain't already did the shit. They've been sending like 500 or something bombs to drones and shit over there to retaliate on Israel. You know what I'm talking about? So they didn't already happen. So now we got to see what Israel going to do. If they going to leave it alone because they made the mistake in bombing them people fucking their family. You know what I'm talking about? Like, come on, man. Y'all don't know how to aim. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Who the fuck is doing this type of shit? Like, y'all supposed to be militant. Y'all supposed to be trained by senior officers and know what the fuck the, who y'all aiming at. Every time I see the news, it's all about hospitals being bombed, schools being bombed, playground being bombed, neighborhoods being bombed, like embassies being bombed. What, 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 what the fuck? Damn. What, the military, y'all don't know where the fuck the military located at? Like, damn, these motherfuckers, y'all blind, don't something, what, y'all radar don't work? Y'all keep the citizens, boy, that's why I'm afraid. They, they not aiming at the fucking, the military no more, they going for the citizens. Knocking the name, when y'all get through bombing every fucking thing, 
Why y'all still want that place and that bitch is blew off? Ain't nothing, ain't no buildings, ain't shit. So y'all just gonna go rebuild every fucking thing. What is the what is the motive now for keeping that place when everything is fucked up? Please, somebody let me know this, man. Y'all hit the like button, man. Subscribe to Kenny Rogers, man. It's, hey, I do this shit, man. Real talk. I'm passionate about this shit because I really want to know this shit. Like, when you bomb every fucking thing, knock every building off the map, every put holes in everything, like, what is, why do you still want that place? Ain't the strategy is to keep everything attacked and then, you know, try to move in and take over and shit. But if you got to sp spend trillions, trillions of dollars to rebuild everything what the, what the fuck so now you didn't spend trillions of you know billions on the bombs and the bullets and, and gas and few food and all this shit now you got to spend it on the the infrastructure and, and rebuilding every fucking thing like what is the meaning of this shit if i'm gonna take something over i want everything to still be intact like this shit ain't making no sense Cause I, I like, like, what the fuck is Russia doing? They, but at the end of the day, I guess they saying everything shit, fan love and war shit. But at the end of the day, like this shit is crazy. If I'm gonna take over something, I want it to still be there, not in out of space. Some of they blowing every motherfucker thing up. So I guess they just gonna rebuild shit once they finally get a hope to it. Like I ain't getting it. Then the United States being stretched out everywhere, they gotta help them. Help them, help them, help them, help them. Like, come on, man. Yeah, they probably, they, to me, it seemed like a play. Like, it, they all coming together be like, shit, let's just make sure that we stretch the United States out to where they can't really do done to the main power when they get ready to hit, they hit the heart of this shit. Because they're going to have to help Taiwan. They're going to, they going to, but now who they gonna leave who, you know it's like man damn if you do damn if you don't i know we powerful i know all of this shit but man this shit is crazy china china now china is not far off china is not far off and we got all of these people in the united states they all here every last one of them they them people not gonna hesitate to do shit Everybody in these countries have suicide bombers, have people that's just willing to give their life and do all type of shit, just run the run shit into the damn building, do something, run, you know, go in a building with a bomb strapped on it. All of this shit is really psychotic ass people in them in, in overseas. Like this shit is going to hit the United States and it's going to hit it hard. I see that shit coming, but that's why they need us to stay dumb. They need us to stay in a drill culture. They need us to stay. Hey, yeah, diddy, 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 man. Fuck all of that shit. Motherfucker better pay attention to what this government doing. That shit here different. And shit diddy can do when a motherfucker run into your motherfucking building and blow that bitch off the map. Then motherfucker be wishing shit. I should have been paying attention to it. Well, Kenny Rogers was saying that shit. Looking at the news really right because Hey, this is this is this is terrible days. Terrible. Terrible. But it's up to us. It's just up to us to stay. I must keep trying to stay trying to keep people informed with this shit, but it's a lot of shit happening that we had the legend OJ Simpson. He passed away, you know, tomorrow had a hard life. Well, um, even though motherfucker knew the head detective that was doing his job, well, not doing his job, fucking up everything, trying to plant shit on people. They knew he had plenty of evidence and was fucking up the crime scene, all this shit. And motherfucker still ran with oh, OJ did shit. And you know, but they ain't pay attention to even want to to the detective fucked up everything and was planting evidence and doing dumb shit and was in cahoots with the news and all this other shit. Oh, you know, they just tried to railroad the motherfucker, but that'd be the narrative. People just believe what people want. I don't know, but man, I repeat the 
man, Mr. Simpson, man, OJ. Oh, so it's just getting bad out here now. I th we thought it was going. We thought uh, sorry, at some point at time that everything was going to slow down and stop. But oh, um, now that I see all this shit, this shit, it, it, it can only get worse. Because we we living in these days now that nobody pay attention to shit. If it ain't the, the Real Housewives of motherfucking Hollywood or some other shit, somebody they gotta be. It, that's it. That's it. And it's just sad that we can look at these bigger platforms and all that other shit and they ain't reporting none of this shit. None of it. It's just wondering why motherfuckers went to jail violating their parole and all that shit when people don't need to... This this the real shit people need to be focused on. This shit is going to come here. It's getting too big and all them people is here. All the people is in the United States. And they ready. We 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 not though. Mm -hmm. I feel like no matter what happens, my folks gonna have to start. Hey, it's gonna have to start being some type of my folks, like Samantha just said it. Hey, the art of war, goddamn, my folks better start acting militant. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, we better start acting militant because this shit is finna get real. I don't, know, I don't know what's gonna be first. I don't know what's gonna be first, but people better start acting militant. People better start getting their shit together because this finna get real. The United States is, yeah, man, it, it ain't that safe no more because it's too much going on. It's too many people in here that got bad motives and and believe in certain things. And you fucking with their country and whatever, and they feel, hey, people can be easily manipulated and can horse of doing any fucking thing, especially people that believe what them they believe. They didn't know. Yeah, we didn't sync it with 9-11. We synced it already with 9-11. Anytime a motherfucker hijack a plane, fly to the building, man, listen, that's some whole nother level of cuckoo bananas type shit. It's yeah, talk, man. You don't leave. I ain't taking man. This oh man. Anytime somebody can hijack a plane and run that bitch into the a building, they ain't fucking playing with a whole full deck at all. Cause they believe in what they believe. Like that every shit. Hey, you can't tell them nothing different. So just imagine now. One, two, three. Four, just say for instance, like five different cultures that we got here in the United States all believe the same fucking shit. And somehow they all come together. Man, that shit gonna get different. And it ain't just that. Shit, they they in London. They in Britain. They in England. You know what I'm saying? They in all these. Hey, hey, yo, like, man, listen. Ooh. People can feel a certain type of way. Next level shit, real talk. They can feel it. They, they, these people feel a certain type of way when the United States start doing shit because, like you said, they they allies. Like they supposed to help, they supposed to be there for, they supposed to, you know, it's about. But man, at what point? Yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to get get to these people. Like nothing is off limits. Nothing is off limits. These people would do anything to get their point across. They ran planes into buildings. Hey, man. Woo. That's next level shit. All right, old boy. That's next level shit. But I'm just trying to keep everybody in form, man. Hey, don't let them pull the wool over your eyes, man, because at the end of the day, that's all what's going to happen. Yo, y'all, y'all hit the like button, shit, man, share this shit, get people went forward about this shit, man, because this shit better get wicked. But what you think, Samantha? What's going on with you? Oh, um, shoot. Nothing really happened that I can 
<clears throat> I had to catch up on some stuff on my page since I was listening to you and uh, running my page. <clears throat> uh, shit, that's why. What'd you do today? Yeah, shit. I was just ripping and running shit. I got was it the stove shit. Got a little some steaks and shit. So I was thinking about trying to barbecue, but I don't know. It's gonna be like eighty three. So. Oh, that'd be good barbecue weather. I'm trying to figure it out. But after that, it should. Everybody love a good barbecue. Man, I'll be doing. Then I smell like barbecue and all that shit. Can't you really have it's fun? You. If, if you the barbecue person, <laughs> I know it's, I a, know lot it's a lot of work. I do it yeah. all the time. Yeah. Damn, damn. Why am I echoing? God damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? You got two. You got two. Oh, you ain't you ain't echoing. Oh, you ain't echoing. Yes, I am. Yes, I, I am. Hear. I can hear it. On here. Jesus. Jesus. Nope. It's just us. Say, yeah, you know I think you know it, yeah, I hear you. You back? Oh, oh. Well, shit. Yeah, shit. We just was running around playing basketball. Shit, exercise, shit like that. And yeah, shit, I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Was kicking it outside for a second. It was all good. But shit. I always try to inform people about what's going on in the real. I was even doing it out and shit where I was at. <laughs> See, I, I'm breaking work outside of you too. Yeah, he was listening. Cause they, yeah, they this is something they ain't know about. But shit, nah. It's all about trying to be a what now, shit. You don't know it's man, school shootings, all type of dumb shit happening now, man. And like you said, the lady well, throwing her well, kids well. out the car. Who? I'm well, I'm well aware. aware. This shit crazy. <clears throat> People don't even care the kids outside no more. None of that shit. They just shooting everybody. So y'all outside. And y'all got y'all kids, man. Just make sure y'all ain't around no motherfuckers that got problems with somebody because they people don't care no more. They gonna try to shoot them with, with the kids, with the grand with grandkids, people, all type of shit. They don't wait no more. They just chopping everybody down. So people be y'all be safe out there, man. Man, everybody, we always tell y'all, man, the weekend is the most deadliest part. Man, other days, yeah, this shit crazy. And it always really happens on the weekends. Like, man. It's like people, it's like they wait for the weekend to come. Friday through Sunday. And I'm just mm -hmm. surprised that people don't get it yet. But you got to live your life, though. You can't be scared and all that shit. But, man, just, just know bullets ain't got no name. Brothers ain't got no name. And if you got your kids outside at nighttime, just know, man. It's it's some dangerous right around the corner. That shit is not cool to have them outside at night. When that sun go down, man, just you and your kids need to go in the house. Because there's some mad ass people around here. Hashtag mental health. They do not give a fuck, man. They don't know who in no crowds. And they don't even give a fuck no more anyway. You know what I'm talking about? They shot four kids and killed one. The motherfucker, 49. Shit, motherfuckers in the 40, 40, 49. Just all, you know, one 19 year old and all that other shit. So everybody just was casualties to who they was trying to get. You know what I'm talking about? But the little nine year old lost her life, got shot in the head. Like, damn, man. Like, these are times where motherfuckers really need to, if you believe in any type of God or whatever, y'all, man, people need to start just praying and keeping their family out these streets. When that sun go down, man, go in the house. 
these you days you probably live, live, uh, leave, that, leave area that area that you live that in, you live like, in today. like today leave, leave like, like no leave no they don't like leave that, like that's up and move. uh-uh because the smartest thing that we we ever could have did was let the kids have the streets you know, mm-hmm. my, like, I mean, I ain't, I mean, I ain't about talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about like, like to, to cipher area. area. They ain't need to. They just need the the energy to you know, my, move around. When the energy mm-hmm, moved mm-hmm. up, when the negative energy moved around to where people can feel like they need to come around there and shoot and do things and all this other shit, then you know, it, it became a safer area. That's why I know that type of shit at work. Because when you listen to motherfuckers that's wiser and and understand the process that shit, motherfuckers need to live for their kids and do better by themselves, then you become a better person and then you strive for greatness and shit like that. And then them kids get to go by the jump rope. But we came from was one of the deadliest places and now it's one of the safest fucking places because of what we chose to do. I wonder, how many, more I wonder how many more people gonna have to die before people get on board. People with, get on board, with, man, with, with, man, man. That's crazy. Because people stuck like they ignorant and people just don't want to listen to people. Like at the end of the day, when you don't want to listen, just the type of shit that happens. You just still rope, sit around, you just still go back and forth on the blocks and do all this other shit and then the innocent die. And you don't feel no remorse, you don't feel shit. And then you keep doing the same thing day after day after day. It just keep happening. That's why this shit happening like that. We we had we we listen to our elders, we listen to them and and because we respect them most of our family anyway, just older people telling us like to live and to get better and to do this shit. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Motherfucker got kids, all this other shit, and it worked. It worked. You sure you ain't, you got, sure the, you ain't got the, the tab, tab open, open? I don't think so. I'm going to check it now. I don't know I just checked. You no, know, it's the only thing on. Yeah. You check your on and see, because you just said you got through with dilly dally and then your shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I check. Just wipe it off the screen so, you know, every app you open, mm-hmm. just get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, let's just see, see if it, it'll be cool. It might come back to normal. I, I really don't hear no damn echo, though. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, shit. But if everybody get on board and, and start doing the right thing, maybe it will work. But a lot of people just it's it's the culture. The culture of you need to do shit, protect something that ain't your one. You need to stand still and die, and, and risk everybody's life in the process of that shit. It's just what it is. It's sad. No, it's the clout. It's this, it's that. When you up and you won or whatever the case may be, ain't nothing else to prove. It's like your mother say, get the kids to the block, get the kids to the streets. Let them grow, let them live. Because they couldn't be on our conscious stuff. How one of our little cousins or something happened to them because of you know our activities and shit like that. So big logical thinking, grown ass people up, okay. And it's it's beautiful because it worked. And I know it can work. That's why these I just look at them like, man, it's the clout. It's the shit they want to have happen because they need it. Because they everybody trying to get on without even having no fucking talent. So they can say, oh I'm the biggest, the baddest, we you know, this and that. 
and just hoping that it get them on, get them interviews or whatever. Just like little shorty them that was spinning the block and shit like that, trying to shoot, you know, like, man, let's, it's only two ways out this shit, man. Death for jail. Death for jail. Jail or death. Death for jail. Which one you want? So be wise, get wiser and start thinking like, shoot, I got to do better. I got to, I got to take care of my family. I got to, I want to live. And so they do that. This is the shit that's going to keep happening. You can't, you can't go outside. You can't think, you can't do shit because people are just willing to just kill you. It's crazy. That's why I be like, she and my boy be trying to get me to come to these um, comedy shows and shit. Be like, man, yo. There's a lot of shit with that. Because now you got to be having a mad. I don't know. I, um, I got to look at that shit. I think he just had one tonight. But it's, I think he still got one up and coming, though. You know, that's uh, proud to Jones and oh, shit. He's oh, local. he's local. Yeah. Okay. But okay. That, see, that's that's just like when skin bone them had they shit. You know what I'm talking like? They look Hollywood and shit. Ain't shit safe. You know what I'm talking about? You can have all the guns on you all you want to, man. Just nobody's ready all the time. You can have a gun in your hand and a cup in the other hand. But when you hear that bow, yeah, not it, not it, man. Hey, I was just, hey, but you can have it, and you can have it. A lot of people die with their guns on their lap and on their waist and their hands. Why do people die with their guns? Listen, man, that's why people say, "Oh, you need your gun, on man." Listen, that shit don't unless you got a built-in radar of a motherfucker finna do something and. Then you can get ready. Oh, you good. But we all we not built like that. We not built like that. And you ain't even gotta be no way even in this in the way of none of that shit. Straight bullets hit people every day and kill them. You could be in your house yeah. doing a TikTok, looking at TV, cooking food, doing anything, sewing, sleeping to motherfuckers. Dead in the door now. That's just how this shit go. Real talk. This is the times where motherfuckers need to start trying to get shit together. But I'm telling y'all, man, if, if we never came together, then I'm up for life. Every black person need to come together, Joe, and stop killing each other, Joe, because this shit's going to get wicked. It's something huge coming. Huge. Stop killing each other. Stop doing dumb shit because it's gonna get this shit gonna get crazy. And it's like, damn, if you can see this shit coming, like, what do you supposed to do? You know what I'm talking about? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm warning people. Like, ain't no way this ain't no way to stop it right now because you just see everything escalating, escalating. It's just so much murder and death and violence. Like, man, what do you do? That's why these fucking million and billionaires is building bunkers and shit. People ain't paying attention to that shit. They just wondering shit who the next person gonna come out on Diddy. Telling y'all not. That's a play. That's a play to keep people asleep. That's it. There ain't nobody. I'm telling. We we the first ones that you know what well, that do what we do. They just reported on the wars across you no know, overseas and what's really going on. Nobody else is doing that shit. Well, thank well, you. Thank you. Um, um, Mr. Kenny Rogers, I had thought that did none until you until you said That shit crazy. It be the topic of uh, uh, everything now. You know. Uh, what fresh and fit doing because the lady talking about she having a baby. Who gives a fuck, man? Motherfucker finna get blew up. <laughs> Ooh, fresh and fresh and fit. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? So I'm glad you know you don't watch it like that, but you know what I'm talking about a lot of other motherfuckers do, you know, because mm-hmm. you know, they, they in the they in the manosphere shit, you know, the red pill shit, but 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, motherfuckers sit there and do all that shit because, like you said, it's just something to keep people blind. Mm-hmm. It's just all. And it's working. Whatever these people throw at you to make you realize that ain't nothing going on, it's like the sleight of hand shit. We're going to put this over here for y'all to be entertained by why y'all don't pay attention to what's going on over here. Don't, don't y'all look over here. Real talk, it hey, ain't nothing to see over here. Y'all stay looking over here. Then nigga, boy. Now everybody look over. Then everybody better look the fuck over here. Cause this finna get wicked. You see all this motherfucking murder and gore and just chaos every fucking world. Motherfucker get shot 96 times. They shoot a 15 year old boy with a fake gun and the open carry stay scary bastards. Yeah, you know, tell they they shoot another motherfucker because he got a fork. Like, what the fuck? Whoever would take a fork for anything, except for somebody, you know, tomorrow. I guess if you think he could kill you with a fork, I don't know. It's just it's just a lot. The right there, you got the school shooting. Then you got the immigrants going wild and breaking into everything. And, Home invading motherfuckers and stabbing people. Woo! It's chaos. It's it's chaos for a reason. It's chaos for a reason, y'all. It's something big for to happen. Everybody that the United States is helping, okay. They here too. But everybody at the United States are that's going against. They here too. And all it takes is for them to be like, okay, now y'all can go ahead and do what y'all doing. You know, right. Y'all got to go, y'all got to go here. Y'all got to go in like whatever y'all can blow up, blow that shit, clean up the sky high heaven. That's what they own. Y'all think they care about not blowing up a school? They blowing up every motherfucking thing over there. You think they don't you think they care about running into school with a bomb or place where you work all that shit nothing is off limit and it's basically gonna be major cities they ain't going for the little ass cities they going for the major cities california chicago new york philadelphia miami they going for texas they going for man listen keep your motherfucker y'all eyes open and y'all head on the swivel man anything that looks suspicious man listen Report it, do something, because just I'm just reminding y'all about 9-11. Them people ain't playing. These is, these is the same people. Just because they ain't got Saddam Hussein, these still the same people that did all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. It's just crazy, but these are times we living in, man. So just pay attention to what y'all want to pay attention to. But I'm just telling y'all, like, I see this shit coming. And we can never forget about China. They were just already talking about, you know, the United States and China and all this other shit. You know, China wants them islands and they all that. You know, like, man, but the United States want to help everybody in their little wars. You know, send people sons and daughters and all that other shit to, to do this shit. Get their motherfucking foot and arm and shit blew off. And then don't even get them the proper respect and the, the benefits of shit to help take care of them. All type of shit. And then ask us, you know, for the money and all this shit. Man, it's, that's why I say it's, it's going to be a new fucking new name for dead around this bitch. It's going to be a new name for debt. Cause I know Chicago already in debt. They say it's really going to hit it like in three years with how much debt we in because what they giving the immigrants. And, but, like saying shit, why the politicians giving themselves raises and shit? Like, damn. You know, I say that shit like, man, them people not really here to help us. They here to help themselves. Help themselves and their family. It's sad. That's why I like 
the voting process is fucked up, man. It's, it ain't good. It ain't good. This is this is an evil time we living in. Whoever you vote for, a evil. Fuck <laughs> talking about. Republicans, Democrat, Liberty, I don't know fuck who it is. Real talk. They got me, 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 me on their mind. Shit. They saying what they saying, but at the end of the day, we always see something different. They always say who they gonna help, how they gonna help, and all this shit. And whatever they saying they gonna help, they never help. And they always end up doing some other shit because they think that's gonna further their political career. No. It, what? You just never know because people just dumb dumb did it. They just don't give a fuck. They still a vote. Well, maybe he made a mistake this time and he might be a better motherfucking mm-hmm. president and this shit. Like, this is what people do. That's sad. I don't get it, but and that's what they prey on. Like, man, this is this motherfucker fucked up in every political field he was in. But still was able to reach this plat- uh, platform because of people donate to the campaign uh, and, and trying to get them. Like, come on, man. You don't get it. I don't get it. That's why I say, even in Dalton, with them hiring Lori Lightfoot to investigate any fucking thing, like, what the fuck? Y'all ain't get enough of doing that shit. Y'all just had a trustee there. That's now being accused of great. Real talk. He from the city. And I've been to, he was a strange motherfucker, though. Every time there's a camera somewhere and somebody being shot, he right there with the motherfucking single mother. Got her so tight, man. You about to motherfucker pop her head off about that. That's mm-hmm. all right. You mean kind of like, like, um, like Al, 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 Al Sharpton? Yeah, he kind of like, he, yeah, yeah, you know, he's an activist. I forget, what the fuck is this bad name? Um, he's a, and he a tr- and yeah, there you go, Andrew Holmes. I don't even know how the fuck he became a, a trustee out there in Dalton. He don't even live out there. He's, he lives in the city of Chicago. How the fuck you become a trustee in Dalton? This is the fucking madness that I'm talking about. These people are playing ridiculous games and this shit is not even funny no more it's sad it's sad how do you become a trustee in Dalton and you live in Chicago and you was an activist in Chicago you are activist no political nothing no nothing of nothing that's why I just said man listen don't, they've been lying from the get go a motherfucker don't need that political uh to, to do all of that shit to further yourself in this political game and all that shit. They, they just doing that to be, you know, saying that to be saying some shit because he sure ain't done none of that shit. But he's a fucking trustee. You, you're supposed to have some level of something, ain't you? Shit, how you just gonna be something? That's why I said, like, it's sad that he accused of taking advantage of a young lady out there and dogging and shit when they went to uh, uh you no, know, look, get together, whatever that was paid on the people's dime, which wasn't supposed to happen. I'm you know, like, all they doing is taking advantage of the people, and they all these political people been doing this shit, and especially Chicago. That's why every fucking governor we had and went to jail. Shit, every mayor we had been crooked and, and went to jail or did. You know, it's like, come on, man, when is shit gonna stop? Like, when? When is? I don't get it no more. Well, hey, people, hold on, hey, hold on. I'm gonna switch headsets, okay? All right. When is some of these people gonna fucking learn that we just gotta? Oh no, the political shit is just fucked up right now. Who do you who do you run to? Who do you trust? Who do you trust? If do we put a normal citizen in there? You know, to my because normal citizen, you know, like they might understand, they might feel, they might. come through and, and, and really shake up some shit because these people that's been in this game and doing all this shit, man, they ain't cahoots with each other, man. Them people don't know nothing about shit. All they doing is keep running the same play. Feed our family. Fuck them people. Feed our family. 
We're going to try to get money for unnecessary ass shit. We're going to promise them everything and give them nothing. You hear me? Promise them everything, but give them nothing. And that's what the fuck been going on, especially in the city of Chicago. They promise you everything and give you shit. Say, take that, have that, and know that. Fuck you time out. And give a motherfucker nothing. But to them, the play is to get the immigrants everything because it benefits them. But little do they know, they're not afraid of career suicide because at the end of the day, they feel like they're going to make it anyway. Disappear out the spy life for a second. Hey, come back, run for something deeper. Probably even when, because people got short-term memories. Oh, shit, I'll never remember to the opponent bring it up or whatever. They spent you no know, millions of dollars on running the campaign, but we see these people study just get recycled because life ain't supposed to be trying to look into anything. That bitch was crooked, too. Well, her big eye beetles you was looking ass. She was crooked fucking, too. So you bring in her crooked ass to investigate another crooked motherfucker. Two black females, one gay, and the other one just confused with life and just a crooked ass me, me, me person. So, hey, who's supposed to be doing who to what? Everything going to be the same. She's just going to say she don't find anything. Thank y'all for y'all money. I'm gone. Fuck you something out. She continues to keep on running the shit up. That's all what's going to happen. Our political stance is fucked up, man. We are fucked up. We are fucked up. We are fucked up. But in the meantime, between time, hey, the government got us right where they want us. Y'all keep being confused. And see what y'all want at the end. That's all what's going to happen. The confusion got us just, they got us just where they want us. Nobody's paying attention to this shit. Nobody's looking at this like, oh, it's a problem. Are we just going to keep on, you know, being in the celebrities' lives and diving into that and all this shit? Meantime, between time, your motherfucking life fucked up. And you trying to escape through the celebrities' lives looking at they fucked up ass life. Oh, my life ain't that fucked. No, your shit is what more fucked up because they, at least they life fucked up with money. Your life fucked up to be fucked up. Fucked up about that shit. Oh, your shit fucked up. They can build bunkers. They can hide and run. You know, I'm trying to shut to they stuff and they found this shit. Where the fuck you going? Nowhere. You just got to pray and hope to God that whatever happens, it just don't hit close to home. But the way it's looking, there's too much going on, too much war. It's too much. It's too just too many problems. And we we smack dead in the middle of everything. And if I see another country say death to America, goddamn man. Jesus Christ. They really mean that shit. They don't be playing. It's tough. It's death to America. Because they feel the same way but that we feel. That they, they shouldn't be poking their nose in a lot of things. If the people not strong enough, hey, to me, only the strongest survive. Shit, I don't know what the fuck people be wanting, what, why escalate that way, but you got to learn how to take care of a lot of things of your own. You helped as much as a motherfucker could help. Because Russia, like I said, they could take the United States helping Ukraine as an act of war towards them. Because it really is, though. Because that's how motherfucking the streets to look at it. Like, you motherfuckers helping the people that we trying to kill. Shit. Y'all, is y'all one against us, too? That's how we go. Everybody, like, shit, we try to get these motherfuckers, right? Then, it's like aid and assistance. Like, oh, shit, we, at, we in war with y'all, too. Shit. Y'all saying y'all ain't, but shit, y'all getting them guns, bullets. Y'all telling them what motherfuckers is that? Oh, you know what I'm talking about? That's war. That's what the United States is doing. So don't be surprised 
Don't be surprised. And then the motherfuckers, people don't want them to go to war with. Because it don't matter what they do in the Ukraine about all the, they, 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 they falling against Ukraine, falling shit. They playing little cat and mice game with their ass. If they wanted to, they'd blow the whole motherfucking country off the map. And the country next to their shit. Come on, man, that war would have been over with. They try to steal a bad battle, you know, the, the UN rules. Man, Ukraine would have been gone. They already demolished that motherfucker. That's why I say, what the fuck do they want with that man? What the, what they want with that country? They didn't riddle that bitch. That motherfucker there ain't no buildings. The streets gone. What the hell? So when y'all do come in and take it, y'all got to rebuild everything. It's just sad, man. So I'm just hoping that we all just stay vigilant and keep our head on the swivel. You know what I'm talking about? Because we just never know now, man. We it's it's just too much war. It's too much too the United States involved in itself too much. These people we is over here in the United States. They they everywhere. Man, I just it just all take me back to 9-11 again. That's all it do. It all that's all it do. The same people that created that chaos is the same people that's Going against Israel. What you know about it. Like they always tell y'all. That's when one leader die or whatever. It's another one going to pop up. And another one going to pop up. Another one going to pop up. And them people still believe in the same shit. So. We, all just, we just got to be careful man. Because like I said. It seems like our own government don't care. We just. We just left out the past. The, Keep left left in the dark and shit, cause it, all that shit's supposed to be on every big platform. It's supposed to be on every big news channel, all that shit. But all they want y'all to know is who been shot here, killed here, dead, stabbed, and all that shit is for a reason. I ain't seen that shit on Fox. I ain't seen that shit nowhere. I seen it on like you know them them big ass you no know, like. HBO news stations and shit. Like, motherfuckers just out the way news stations. Like, there's some shit my, uh, no one, an ordinary person ain't going to go look up. That's all. So, we just got to be careful out here because we only care about us, man. Nobody else going to do it. I care about y'all. That's why I try to inform y'all and shit about what's going on. So, y'all can take care of it and take care of y'all family. This is wicked out here. It's wicked, man. Well, I just wanted to come in and tell y'all a little bit of something about that shit, man. So I'm finna get on, get up off this motherfucker, man. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the page. Subscribe to Simply Samantha, man. And Sunday we gonna have a motherfucking blast. You know, I came in to get some little knickknack, petty wet, give a dog a bone shit. So it is what it is. Ain't nobody gonna do it like we do it. Real talk, so what they did. That motherfucker itching to come on. <laughs> oh, so, my, my bad. My bad. Now you echoing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was just gonna say shit. I'm gonna get on, get up off this bitch, get up a little hour, with thirty minutes, or whatever shit, so I can come back harder tomorrow. Shit, get some sleep or something. It's three ten. I'll play this song and I'm gonna get on up off of this bitch. Everybody have a good. Everybody night. have a good night. It's Kenny Rogers and Simply Samantha, man. It was another one, man. So, you know what I'm talking about? I hope everybody hit the like button, man. Set this shit so people can be informed and shit. Y'all go on Samantha page. Y'all share her shit. Y'all subscribe to her page. We try to do some big things. I'm on.